Padre Pio, one of the world's most revered and beloved saints, known for his spiritual virtues, mystical gifts, and extraordinary ability to intercede. Today, I will reveal whether you possess one of these three gifts for you to ponder if you have been blessed. The blessed ones who claim to have been graced by his blessing share intriguing accounts of experiences and unique signs perceived as markers of his presence and intervention. These witnesses offer fascinating glimpses of a special connection, sharpening curiosity about the mysterious power that permeates Padre Pio's influence. Let us divine into some of the signs associated with those who feel blessed by Padre Pio. These witnesses offer fascinating glimpses of a special connection, sharpening curiosity about the mysterious power that permeates Padre Pio's influence. Let us divine into some of the signs associated with those who feel blessed by Padre Pio. My brothers and sisters, welcome to this video. Please watch until the end, for you will discover a fact about Padre Pio that will change your life forever. Physical healings rank among the most attributed miracles to Padre Pio. Many Christians claim to have experienced a sudden and inexplicable healing from illnesses. In many cases, individuals touched by his grace have experienced significant improvements in their health, even when conventional medicine had few answers to offer. Some believe that Padre Pio also possesses the power to intercede in difficult or desperate situations. Testimonials speak of problems resolved, obstacles overcome, and complex situations suddenly unraveling after invoking his intercession. It's as if Padre Pio, even after his earthly life, remains a bridge between the divine and the human. Padre Pio, a beacon of hope and healing, whose legacy continues to inspire and uplift countless souls across the world. I ask you to envision the era when it all began. A humble people nestled in the picturesque Italian countryside. It was the year 1887, and in Pietrelcina, a boy named Francesco Forgione was born into a poor yet deeply religious family. Francesco manifested an extraordinary connection to the spiritual realm from a tender age, claiming to have seen and conversed with a vision destined to be anything but ordinary. As the years passed, Francisco's divine calling became undeniable, leading him on a path of faith as he entered the Capuchin Monastery. He was baptized as Padre Pio, unaware that this was just the beginning of a remarkable journey that would span lives and generations. Padre Pio would become a source of hope, healing, and inspiration for millions worldwide. But within the sacred walls of his own order, where skepticism and doubt lingered, the path to holiness was not easy. Despite the challenges, Padre Pio emerged as a symbol of unwavering faith and devotion, destined to be intertwined with the divine in ways that transcended human understanding. My faithful Catholic brethren, I will now reveal the three things for you to see if you are blessed or not. But before we proceed, I ask that you leave your like on this video to help it reach more people. Many are unaware of the healing Padre Pio has mediated. I ask that if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel now and ring the bell to stay even more informed. I am at the service of God, sharing all the signs of God for his people. So what are the three conditions that indicate you have been blessed according to Padre Pio? My brothers and sisters, these are the three things. I ask that you pay close attention to them, as one of these may resonate with you. The first is a family that loves and cares. Padre Pio emphasizes the importance of being surrounded by a family that offers genuine love and care. This is a blessing, as it provides vital emotional support on life's journey. The second aspect is health. Despite the challenges of age, the second aspect refers to good health, even with some age-related issues. Padre Pio values a life lived fully without the limitation of serious illnesses, especially from a young age. The third thing is possessing faith. Having faith is considered a significant gift by Padre Pio. He emphasizes that many people are not fortunate enough to know religion, and some even deny it. Faith is seen as a guiding and sustaining light, providing meaning and purpose to personal life. But our journey does not end here. We now turn our gaze to one of the most extraordinary chapters of Padre Pio's life, the manifestation of the stigmata. During an intense moment of prayer in 1918, Padre Pio experienced something truly mystical and disconcerting. The wounds of Christ, known as the stigmata, appeared on his own body, marked by unbearable pain and divine grace. 
his hands, feet, and side bore the wounds of Christ's crucifixion. People from all social classes embarked on pilgrimages to the small village of San Giovanni Rotondo, where he lived. Their stories bear witness to the incredible power of faith and the miraculous touch of Padre Pio. There were reports of terminal illnesses vanishing without a trace, shattered families finding reconciliation, and individuals experiencing an overwhelming sense of peace. Padre Pio's healing touch extended beyond physical ailments. It reached into the depths of the human soul. Beyond miracles and stigmata, Padre Pio was a spiritual father to countless souls. His confessional became a place of solace and redemption for those seeking his guidance. He left an indelible mark on the lives of those who sought him. Among the countless stories, one stands out. That of a hardened criminal who, after confessing to Padre Pio, underwent a profound change of heart. He turned away from a life of crime, embraced faith, and eventually became a respected member of society. Padre Pio's influence extended far beyond the confines of the church, inspiring changes even in the most unlikely of people. Over time, despite initial skepticism from the Vatican regarding his stigmata, he was canonized as a saint by Pope John Paul II in 2020. Brothers and sisters, that's it. Share this video with your friends and family, and may God bless you.